Howdy folks and welcome back to the Modern Horror Halloween special day two of Wes Craven Week. Today's movie is Shocker. And oh my god. Okay, okay, so <laughs> so uh, let's try to, to sum up Shocker here. So basically the idea is that Mitch Pileggi, who I just cannot separate from the X-Files, unfortunately. <laughs> uh Skinner. Uh Mulder and Scully's boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that must have been difficult to watch. <laughs> So, he was always like serious and buttoned down, and he had like a suit and tie on all the time. But yeah, so it's it's Mitch Pileggi is this this serial killer who I guess he has some sort of mo, but I don't entirely know what it is aside from knife and lots of blood. Um, and and he's got on the wall. yeah, and he's got this weird psychic link with electricity. He's he's got um no he's got this weird psychic link with uh, this football player. So he has to be the adopted son of this police lieutenant. So when the police are trying to look for this killer, the the football student you know the football player is hallucinating the crimes or dreaming the <laughs> crimes, and he somehow manages to like dream upon command himself into the crime scene and talk to the the killer a little bit. Who's killing his mom? His... Yeah, yeah. His, his adopted... mother and his sibling. Oh, yeah. All right, so they figure out that he's, like, in this TV studio? It's his, like, TV repair shop or something. Yeah, they get there, um, and they catch him, and they get him in jail, and they put him in the electric chair. But before they do well, that... No, no, they don't catch him. They don't catch him at, at the repair shop. They don't catch him in the shop. He kills, like, four cops and gets away. Oh, my God, he does? They, they catch him... So so he kills the so, mom... He kills the so mom's awkward. sister, then he kills four cops and gets away, and then he... He goes and kills the football player's girlfriend, and then he oh, goes yeah. and he's killing some other random family. And the guy dreams himself to the killer on command again. Yeah. And the cops follow him there, and he goes with his football buddy uh, in in their cool little car. And he goes there, and they like chase him across the rooftops, and he manages to. They finally manage to to catch the guy. They put him in jail. Presumably, there's a this trial. This is the first that we half just hour, by the way. Skip over. Yeah, it's like a two-hour movie. And this is the first half hour. So, <laughs> when he's in jail before he gets the chair, he is—he's oh, doing this um like ritual with like a bunch of like symbols on the ground, like this devil ritual. Yeah. And he's doing he it. He painted some satanic shit on the ground. He's got candles. And in he's doing prison. it to the TV. <laughs> and then some lips come out on the TV, and I shit you not, this and it says, "You got it, dude." <laughs> or was, you got it, baby. Oh, yeah, you got it, baby. That's what it said. And then it enters his body, and then he goes to the electric chair, and when he's on the electric chair, and the football player's there. I'm and, your father, football dude. And then he gets electrified. And then, then... And then the movie... The next hour of this movie is is body-jumping ridiculousness. Because he's not really dead, he's just... electricity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, somehow he's electrical or TV static jumping between various various people. So first he's like this lady doctor who they, they got in to pronounce. He's totally Talia Winters, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's brunette Talia Winters. And then he jumps into this cop and crashes the car. And then he jumps into, I think, a jogger and then like an eight-year-old girl. That was the best part because the eight-year-old girl is trying to kill the, uh, the football player who's chasing him him down, and she's like, she goes, Die, you son of a bitch! And she's like, tiny you, and... No, she's like trying to start like a piece of construction equipment. It's like, it's always funny to see little children say fuck. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah, just amuses me. It's uh, also really funny seeing like an eight-year-old girl trying to act like Mitch Pileggi. <laughs> just hamming it up. <laughs> um, then jumped into the eight-year-old's mother. And meanwhile... The football player's dead girlfriend's necklace is the only thing that can get Pinkerton out of the body. Sorry, this movie was so weird, and there were, there was no rules. There was no rules in place. At one point, he's an electric couch, which was cool, but I'm like, why? Chekhov's vibrating armchair. Why? It's, yeah, the, the rules of what he can and can't do are, and how any of this weird satanic magic he, works he can, like, completely arbitrary. He can turn into outlets. Like, he turns his fingers into plugs to put his fingers in an outlet to, re, to, 
to jump into the electrical system of the house. The necklace has some sort of magic powers on him, and then there's like they're jumping through the TV channels, and oh yeah, that's and the he thing. jumps out into some lady's house, and they they he grabs the remote. This is the best house, and ever. then he can control shit. That was the best house ever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the internet would love it. Gigantic framed portrait of a kid. <laughs> I need that in this home. I need it. Okay, so, um... It, it goes on. It's like and then, it's the, long, and then it ends. And then it ends. He gets stuck in TV land, and then the guy shuts up. Like, his football friends are blow up the, uh, the cable company. So TVs get shut down, so the football player manages to get out of the TV land. So, <laughs> through, through a camera. Whatever, whatever, whatever works. It... it, it Okay, so... Okay. Uh, Schlocker. The girlfriend? Super gorgeous. Super babe. And I'm glad she stuck around for the movie. Because she was a ghost. But it was a little ridiculous about what she could do, too. Football player, on the other hand, is the doofiest looking guy. He's just like... Yeah, I think I, I think she only shows up in like dream sequences. I think what, what no, I what I've noticed in the last two movies for Wes Craven is it's really hard to tell when he switches to and from a dream sequence. Yeah. So like a lot of these movies, we've been sitting going, was that a dream? Did that just happen? She didn't just show up at dream sequences though. She was um remember when he went to go find the coach and he went to the house and the coach was possessed and then she shows up and shoots him with her like soul beam. Yeah, that happened. Oh right, yeah. She can she has a soul beam laser that comes out of her stomach. <laughs> like there's no rules. <laughs> I don't think they ever did a story revision on that script. I think they just wrote down all the random shit they could come up with. Yeah, I think they and just... And then just cleaned up the dialogue. I think they just filmed everything, because I think there are parts when, like, the, the house was in a disarray, but then it was cleaned again, so they just kind of like, okay, he was arrested, and then he was not arrested anymore, so let's put that in a little clip, and there's a family killed in between, by the way. <laughs> like, here's some... Exposition over news footage. Yeah, that'll fill it in. Oh, and Ted Raimi was in it. He did nothing. He was just, no, he was the assistant coach. Pac-Man. Ted Raimi's a pure soul. The plot of this movie is a, is a mess, but it was a blast to watch. It was fun. It was funny. The effects were, like, super fun. They were a bunch of superimposed stuff. A lot of green screen, a lot of really bad green screen, but, like, they did some fun things with it. It was 1989. They were trying. I've, I've seen this, um, this cover ever since I was a little girl, and I've been wanting to watch this movie for a very long time, and I'm very happy that I finally watched it. All right, folks, thanks for watching us ramble on about Shocker. Uh, next on West Craven Week for the Modern Horror Halloween Special Month is The Hills Have Eyes. So, uh, see you then. Spooky, scary skeletons Speak with such a screech You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear